life is filled with rituals. It is these rituals that help define us. There is no reason why we should sacrifice quality in these experiences, even if they're in an effort to gain efficiency or find simplicity. But that is what we find in our coffee today. It doesn't have to be that way. With precision measurements, multiple tools, and complex pouring techniques, it's easy to understand why one can be intimidating. It creates this barrier between manual brew methods that produce quality and automated brew methods that focus on efficiency. I want to give people the tools and the ingredients and the education and knowledge to be able to figure out what their way is. It's an opportunity to explore. Coffees from different regions, different roasters, different profiles, and different interpretations of those coffees, because each roaster has their own interpretation of what a Sumatran um, and healing should taste like, or what a Ethiopian Amaro guy on natural should taste like. It's coffee brewed by a person and brewed with passion. And more importantly, engaging you in that process so that you can take home some of that skill, that experience, and maybe even a little bit of that passion to improve your cup of coffee at home. It comes back to the core of the business and that is accessibility and education and what a better cup of coffee is. And you can't do that unless you have that personal interaction. If I can get more consumers doing more manual methods and getting away from that which is easy and focusing more on that which is more enjoyable, that's how I'd measure success.